Okay, finally we can take a look at the Lord expansions that were released as individual packs. There's uh, one pack for each individual Lord that could be mixed into your games as desired. So we'll get a look at those. Uh, but first I'm just going to touch on the, uh, the upgrade pack. Uh, we have uh, all the tokens in the game. For example, the, uh, like we have this uh, Sis token here that was uh, created for the Tardigrade. Uh, we've got an upgraded plastic token for that uh, we've got the uh, we have the gate here gate token uh, which was upgraded for the gate uh, miniature right which is it's interesting a lot of skulls and whatnot it's got a lot more heft and presence and you swap this out on the board just to indicate when and where health time started so you've got that one that was a separate pack that's the captain token this was swapped out with this uh, miniature here, which is kind of a, a play on the Gorillas miniature with the, uh, the designer, Sandy Peterson, his likeness, at least that's what I'm assuming. Uh, Lady Cilia uh, Snakehead tokens. Uh, that's one of the Lords we'll be looking at in a minute. Came with these, uh, with these tokens here. And they were swapped out for these uh, nifty little uh, miniature snake heads. So that's pretty, uh, those are pretty cool looking too. We have the Lord Shadow token here. Uh, these are placed on the map as the Lord moves, uh, moves up the map to indicate that uh, the space is no longer available and it's completely occupied by the, by the Lord. And it grows over the course of the game. And these were swapped out with these plastic um, markers as well. And these are, are pretty cool. It kind of has that, like a wax stamp look to it. So those are nice, look good on the board. And probably the, the most important and, and uh, most uh, used would be for the invasion tokens. Now, these are the markers that would indicate blips on a map where um, demons would be present that are uh, their composition is unknown to the, uh, to the uh, heroes. And those were changed out for two, two different models. Got this one here kind of crouching. And kind of this more blob looking one. So these are really interesting to add to the game. Um, add just uh, a little bit more bling, if you will. Uh, but uh, completely unnecessary, all of them. But, uh, you know, as with any miniature game, you could do away with all the minis and just use cardboard counters. So I, for one, was a fan of using these. So uh, now having dealt with that, uh, we can uh, we can take a look at the Lords here. We have to start with uh, Lady Cilia. Uh, now this is uh, this is a one crowned lord. Now as you can see on the back of all of them, uh, we have these markers here indicating how many crowns, and that would be an indicator of their their difficulty. Uh, with the uh, the one coming in the base set, uh, Lord Baphomet being a one crown, Lady Cilia also one crown. Um, kind of like a disemboweled woman morphing into bodies and the head of numerous snakes. Very interesting model. Uh, we can take a look at it. Very interesting model here. Uh, average attack with uh, 68, but an additional D12 per snake head on her track. Uh, the heads regrow during the menace, as well as at the end of her attack phase, based on a D6 roll. So if the roll's higher than the existing heads, grow an extra one, right? So need to balance removing those uh, extra D12 attacks and putting damage straight to her as you're able to, to choose, you know, whether you're going to take out the heads or put the damage on her right so the reward is to gain one courage for each head that is destroyed so there you have the one crown and we've got uh lord asmod here this is kind of a curious looking uh mini this is a two crown lord let's take a look at it here it's got all these uh mouths and whatnot so another animal mashup uh, with a rather strange head or or heads, depending on how you're looking at this thing. The menace is each hero rolls a d12, and the highest is under Asmod's power and will attack the other heroes rather than any demons. So the captain gets to choose. Then following each attack of Asmod's, the heroes roll again to see who is under his power. So reward gets you one luck for having been under his power. So uh, rather interesting abilities on this one. Uh, kind of an odd-looking mini. We have here Lord uh, Jabutu. And uh, 
This is another two crown lord. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite models in the game. Uh, even if I couldn't explain why or what exactly this uh, represents. Menace is to reduce one attack die level on each hero. So that's not as uh, nice as it isn't easy to raise them in the first place. Uh, reward is if a hero uh, takes more damage that they can take a shadow marker and then use this to avoid the attack die penalty, right? Or to restore two health later. So a little bit of a bounce back for the heroes on that one. But again, a really uh, interesting looking mini here. Um, I really uh, like the look of that one. So another level two. Uh, Lord uh, Procrustes. Uh, this is a three crown. Uh, now think uh, the fly. Like, uh, here, let's take a look at it. Uh, Seth Brundle. I, this one I really like. Menace is simply to reduce courage from the pool or take damage if no courage is in the pool. So you want to make sure you have some in there before you go in, which is really hard before you're going into battles. You're trying to spend that on upgrades. Um, different attack in that a D12 is rolled, and if the roll is higher than the target's current health, they take six damage, and if it's lower than the current health, uh, they take the die roll worth of damage. Uh, so the reward uh, being if the roll is equal to health, gain four courage. Uh, so again, a really kind of nasty attack no matter which way you look at it. So that's uh, Lord Procrustes. Okay, another three crown lord here, and this one is uh, Lord Pulgasaur, right? So let's take a look at this guy. Uh, now, uh, one of the nastiest looking models, uh, in my opinion, looks uh, rather fearsome. A menace, each hero rolls a d6. Uh, for each roll that's less than its toughness, lose one toughness, so that's pretty uh, pretty rough. Uh, this guy has three stages, meaning he needs to be defeated three times. Uh, each stage, he gets progressively tougher. Rewards are each hero gaining three courage. Even better, though, is each damage scored over in order to reduce uh, a stage to zero gains one luck, which is great because that's uh, a very... A hard resource to come by so uh, still appears massively tough to beat though um, there's one tough ombre this guy okay now we can get into the four uh, the, there's two four crown demons um, which were both uh, late adds to the Kickstarter and I thought were really nice additions uh, you have the spider mastermind uh, for whom you'd recognize from the original doom video game and uh, great Cthulhu well because that's that's Cthulhu right um, now, according to uh, Sandy Peterson, uh, none of these lords uh, were defeated uh, in playtesting, right? So there's two mountains to climb if the game gets easy for you, although I, I find a hard time believing that it, that it would. Um, but uh, here you have the uh, Spider Mastermind. If you get a look at this mini here, uh, very, very impressive. Um, Menace is to uh, gain one shadow marker, right? And uh, for each one of these, he gets to roll attack dice. So uh, this uh, son of a SOB, uh, he's got a lot of health. So exiting health time only guarantees that it would take several 68 attacks. Uh, if any of the attack dies miss, the heroes can choose to either retreat from health time or put health back on its track. So that's really nasty. Um, also takes two hits of uh, four plus to cause any, any damage with the three plus toughness uh, times two. And the reward is that the heroes can recruit as if they were in the start area after retreating. So, uh, again, this is a really cool looking miniature. Take a look at it. It's got the, uh, you know, what would appear to be, uh, you know, bishops of, uh, you know, and uh, some sort of creature coming out of the brain, head, mouth area. Really, really nasty looking. I, I like it. Um, you know, a lot of faces, heads, uh, you know, faceless bishops. Uh, not sure what we're getting at there, but... But, uh, you know, don't be too busy trying to figure that one out because you could wind up dead. All right. And uh, we have Great Cthulhu, another four crown, as I mentioned. Um, now, th th this mini, actually, it's, it's massive. Uh, I mean, just take a look at this thing. This is uh, definitely huge. Uh, the menace is each hero gets to gain uh, zero to six sanity tokens. And this allows the players to stay in hell time and attack. Now, if they don't have any sanity tokens, they must retreat. The kicker is that Cthulhu rolls a d4 at the start of his attack. He then gets that many attacks of 6d12. So, uh, you know, the reward is to gain one courage and one luck for each sanity token taken. Heroes are guaranteed to get smoked by this guy. So get in there, stacked with weapons. Toughness is six, uh, but reasonable health, not crazy. 
Uh, but again, uh, you know, really tough. And I mean, this is, you know, probably the boss monster to defeat in the game. Uh, just, you know, looking at the size of this thing. I mean, it's massive. It's the size of a size of a bloody statue or something you'd have on your desk, right? It's like a showpiece. Um, it, it, interesting take on, on typical Cthulhu uh, models that you would see in, in other games, right? They decided to go on a, on a different route and kept it in line with all with the art design of everything else. So, um, so there you go. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, all, all of those markers, these lords, which add a lot more variety into the game. Uh, they were, I, I received all of them in the, uh, in the Hellhound uh, pledge, right? So uh, that was pretty good. So I've got more than enough variety, um, adding uh, more toughness and, and tougher lords as the, you know, Baphomet coming in the first set was only a one crown, right? So you've got these other guys that you can throw in uh, as one-offs if you wanted to just, you know, not, not dive in on a full expansion. You can just change the lords out, right? And, and switch it up that way. So there you have it. Uh, and that uh, pretty much covers just about everything in the game. Uh, so thanks for watching. Take care.